Well, after many, 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 many years, the M60 in Phantom Forces has finally gotten an actual change to it. Typically, I'm not a big fan of the M60, the way that it's kind of been since, basically since launch, I think. And that is that the recoil is just super, like, bouncy. It's very headache-inducing for me. It's not that it's necessarily a bad weapon. It's got fine stats and stuff. Just, I really don't like the recoil. It's just a very boring weapon. And, I mean, look at the model. It's, it's even, even post-big update that just happened a couple of days ago. It is a very, very boring model. They've done nothing to it literally since launch it's just it boring it <laughs> however the m60 as of a couple of days ago has gotten a complete revamp not only to its damage and recoil but also to the very way that the weapon operates so basically uh <laughs> it's pretty much a new weapon in in all but name and model so if we just take a comparison here we actually just look at the m60 recoil how it normally has been since launch and we take a look at it now We'll never get to see it. You can see the recoil is like super bouncy like the new recoil is, but it's not super like heavy or anything like that. It's manageable. It's not headache inducing. However, if you're paying attention at all to the bottom corner, you will see that the fire rate has gone way down. And that is because they have a first of its kind fire mode actually added to the M60, and that is going to be a ramp down fire mode. So some of the other weapons in the game, like the Scar Hammer and the M16A1, have a ramp up fire mode where the longer they fire, the faster they fire. However, the M60 goes from firing at 650 the RPM down to 500 over the course of its magazine or drum box uh, belt <laughs> ammo so you can see there we go from 650 and as we fire the longer that we fire the farther down the fire rate goes and you can definitely feel it start to chug over the course of your drum ammo magazine belt box thingy seriously like wh wh what should i call this now what this kind of means to me is that the m60 is going to be a great weapon that you can actually be able to kind of burst so we'll be able to utilize like like, yeah, the fire rate is still going down as we do bursts like this. However, there is a reason that bursting with this weapon is actually going to be quite a bit better than it usually is. As you can see, the fire rate does slowly climb back up as well. Very, very slowly. And the main reason for that is the fact that we actually have crazy updated damage for the M60. That makes it, uh... <laughs> Um, I don't even know if overpowered is the right term for it. So as we can see, we do 40 damage, or sorry, 42 damage out to 90 studs. I can read, I promise. Past that point out to 180 studs, we are doing a minimum of 30 damage. Now, if we whip out ye old calculator, and we do a little bit of multiplication here. We do the 1.15 torso multiplier that it has, and we multiply that by 30, which is the bare minimum damage. You can see bare minimum with the torso shots, we are doing 34.5 damage, AKA a guaranteed three tap at all range to the torso with completely stock attachments. So, um, the M60 is a three shot. <laughs> it's basically a guaranteed three shot. Now, unfortunately, I'm not super great at building attachments based around this new recoil. However, I think that if we just pretty much slap on the most basic kind of stuff, we'll be able to actually get our recoil pretty manageable. And that was not the correct choice of attachments. That recoil is still a fairly jumpy though. Now to test this weapon out, because honestly, it's not really the long range beast that I guess I kind of used to be just because of that recoil. We'll take it over to Metro. We'll try a little bit of gameplay with it. That was a surprising kill. <laughs> I, I kind of can't believe that I got that. <laughs> this is fun. Rest in peace, bike man. I'm honestly surprised at kind of how difficult the recoil is to actually control with this. I thought it was going to be a little bit easier, but I guess whenever you make something a guaranteed three shot at all range to the torso, uh, you kind of want to make it not super OP. Dynamite? I just got killed by a level five with dynamite? I, I Okay. You see something new every day when you play this game. That's one of the things that keeps me coming back. I don't think I've ever been killed by a stick of dynamite in Phantom Forces. I kind of forgot that was a thing. So the initial recoil is really bad, but like as the fire rate slows down, it becomes a lot easier to kind of control where your shots are going. Dude, down to 500 fire rate, man. That is rough. Oh my god, what was that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hip fire? Hip fire is not bad. Hip fire is not bad. You know, honestly, doing like the all tame actually might even be better for this thing. I know that all tame is kind of the way that it was originally supposed to be used, at least. That's what people yell at me in the comments, that I'm supposed to alt fire with the M60. Oh my god, bro, please, I can't even do anything. <laughs> Oh my god. Final kill. 15 and 10. Pro, pro plays. CQC M60 time. There's definitely got to be a better way to build this. I'm definitely doing something very, very wrong. There's no way that the recoil is actually supposed to be this bad for the M60. I mean, maybe it is. I, I don't know. You know, surprisingly, uh, CQC M60 kind of, kind of goes hard. Oh, what is that? 
Oh, he's got a macro. That's cool. I love this game. <laughs> oh my god, don't do it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I, dude, I... Uh, why am I liking CQCM60? I should not be liking CQCM60. Oh my... Dude, this has so much more maneuverability to it than I thought it did. And that... Oh, man. I'm loving that 42 up close damage. It's it's kind of hitting. I, I kind of wonder something about this. I wonder what happens if I throw on a muzzle booster. So the muzzle booster on like the other ramp up weapons basically makes it ramp up faster. I wonder if that'll make it ramp down faster. So we're actually going to be starting with just over 700 RPM on the M60 back down to 500. Yeah, that definitely sends the fire rate much, much faster. It looks like. Oh, okay. All right. We'll, 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 we'll try something here. That feels so weird hearing the M60 fire so fast. Ah, oh, I still can't get any kills though. We'll just sit in like a really convenient little spot right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 700 RPM M60 kind of hits different, dude. Oh yeah. Oh yes, it does. Why is this actually such a good CQC weapon? This should not be this good. I should not be able to play with an M60 like this. Guaranteed three shot out to 180 studs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that we did have a bit more of a detailed damage graph though, because it makes me think that like out to probably about right here, what is that? Maybe like 140, 150 ish studs. We're probably going to already be doing that 34 damage. So out to like this far, you should be able to actually get still a guaranteed three shot. Oh my God. I, are you serious? I spawn on top of a grenade. <laughs> I love this game. It just gets better and better every day. It just gets better and better every day. What can I say? So what other way am I going to want to utilize it? I, I, I want to use that three shot. And the next thing is we're going to be throwing a scope on this. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I'm going to try and utilize that three shot ability from pretty much across the entirety of Second Storm. Uh, am I going to probably lose my mind? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Will it be fun? Uh, probably not. But if I can actually use this decently effectively, I, like, or deep is... Decently effectively, is that right? It feels like I speak English worse and worse every day. This might not be the scope for this. This <laughs> this might not be the scope for this. Oh yeah, it's definitely not. If I can use this decently effectively, this might actually be a really like seriously decent tap fire range weapon. We got a hundred round box and everything. I'm gonna switch to another scope though. We're gonna do global offensive, why not? Yeah, this 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 looks right. Something about this just looks so, so right. It's essentially a hundred round box freaking DMR, dude. Like I, I could probably stand to have a little bit less recoil in a quote unquote DMR, right? But I don't really know the ideal freaking loadout for this. In theory, yeah, this is literally just a DMR. It, it literally is just an M60 with or a freaking a DMR with a hundred rounds. That's, that's kind of crazy. I love this thing. Like genuinely, this is actually a really, really fun way to use the M60. Like you, you basically have the mobility of a DMR slash your battle rifle, whatever, maybe a little bit slower, but you also have that availability to be able to full auto with it and you get all the ammo. And obviously if you're going to be using like a DMR slash sniper slash battle rifle, whatever, you're probably going to be at a slight distance anyway. So we could probably do something like I'll just slap on a suppressor. I really wish that I knew of a better, like, I don't know, a better like setup to actually use with this. But still, this is a great, like, I cannot, uh, why, 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 this is not what I thought we were going to be doing today. I, I got to be honest. I thought I was going to come into this, like, absolutely just hating it. I mean, it, it's bad enough that I already didn't really like the M60 all too much before this update. But yes, th th this, this new M60 is actually really good. I, the only thing I could really ask for different would maybe be, like, a new model. Other than that, though, I, I, this update's been proving to be actually, like, super solid and has, like, a lot of good stuff in it. With that said, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on the M60 update in the comment section below as well as if you go to the pinned comment right below this video you can become a channel member like these wonderful people up on screen or use the link in the description of course it's basically like youtube's version of patreon where it's like a monthly little subscription thing i also have a couple member only videos on there that you guys could definitely check out you know some pretty little, little funny other games that i play besides phantom forces in there but with that said thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it and uh yeah peace